to Ikea and um, as some of you may know from over my Instagram page we are doing our hallway makeover very soon because I've been nagging Ross to let me do it for ages since the bathroom makeover and we finally... As soon as we do one room, just like, <laughs> before we even finished that room actually, isn't it? we didn't even finish the bathroom and you was already onto the hallway. Yeah. And you've already mentioned the kitchen and the living room as well. <laughs> yeah, so once the hallway is done, we'll probably be on to the next room. So yeah, we're on our way to Ikea and just to have a look, really, I've got a few things that we'll definitely be getting, but just to have like a little nose around, you always end up picking up more than you go for anyway. So we thought what we'll do is like show you around, see what's new in and show you what we get. I just like the colours of the cupboards. It's so nice. It's like, what would you say, like a nude and black. And it's got like matte black, matte black sides. But I think these would get well scratched. This is so nice. There's just so much space. <laughs> How do you open it? Oh. This is where you put all your glasses. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. These are the cups we just picked up, aren't they? Are they smaller? They're smaller. Changed my mind, I've seen a better one. <laughs> this is what I'd want a massive island in the middle. It's actually huge, you need a mansion for that. Oh, that's the Oh, I don't know that. Like this sink. It's small though, isn't it? Ross has got his essentials. <laughs> you know what? Oh, yeah, it's, look, it's got that jam one on it, but it says chocolate. Or is that chocolate? Oh, no, that's chocolate. Oh, my God. They do do jam ones, though. And then I'm getting this for my bubble bath for the bathroom. It's quite cute, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, although it was supposed to be here for the hallway. <laughs> I do like this one as well. So, this is a chair that I just tried showing you. It is black, isn't it? Or is it green? It's like black. a black and cream. So, Nelly has this dog that she absolutely loves. You definitely would have seen it already. Probably. Yeah, you would have seen it and we're just going to get her another one because her one smells, it's just a bit crusty. Like, we can't believe how soft this actually is. <laughs> but they have like a massive version, they're so cute as well. But we're just going to get the little one. So we're actually going to swap this with Nelly's like current one and see if she notices. Do you think she will? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I don't know. I think she'll be like... She might because of the smell. Because this is going to smell like all new. But her, her one obviously like, smells like her, we'll doesn't it? We'll try and film her reaction. Yeah, we'll try and film we'll it. We'll the it... other one and then swap it with this one. Yeah, we'll put it on the vlog. this bowl that's how big it is and he said what did you say <laughs> it's a good cereal bowl <laughs> hey. i said no this is a cereal bowl that's a cereal bowl that looks big on there but it's actually <laughs> tiny no it's not so ross is currently looking at a drink dispenser 
and he's moaning at me for picking things up that we don't need. Look at him. How much is it? £13. No, that's not worth that. That's plastic as well, isn't it? Or is that glass? No, it's glass. Well, no. Do you not think that's good? No. Right. What would you put in it? Oh, imagine hot chocolate in that. <laughs> That make a massive. A slow cooker, oh. You just pour it in that. That would be nice. No, I think what goes in there. Um, it's like alcohol, like cocktails and stuff. Yeah. We would be putting juice in it. Yeah, well, I just think for Christmas. <laughs> well, yeah, imagine that. On the Do you side know what? He bed. just moaned at me for picking up two extra 50p plates. Because we don't need them. <laughs> Not because very much though. <laughs> Well, look, they could put that on the side of the bed with ice on it. And then we just do that. <laughs> we would actually use that though. We well. argue, like, we get into bed and we're like, ah, oh, we've got a drink. <laughs> and then we'll argue for 10 minutes. Who's going like, to go and get the drink? This so many problems. We're not bringing that up to bed for us. I'm not having that in the bedroom. Oh. So it's now the next day and before I show you the items that I purchased from IKEA I just wanted to kindly thank Wibble the app for sponsoring today's video. So Wibble is a vlogging app that is perfect for new people starting YouTube or any sort of video creator out there. Wibble is a free app that basically you can vlog you can obviously like video anything you can edit and upload all from one app so yeah like i said it is a free app so there's no i think it's like the perfect sort of thing for anyone that's starting out doesn't want the outlay of a camera or a laptop if you haven't already got one so it's the i think it's perfect for a start out person starting youtube i have so many people daily message me like how what would you recommend me using what editing software what camera and now i feel like i can recommend this app as it has all of the things all in one and it's not a massive outlay if you're not 100 percent if this is exactly what you want to do personally i wish i knew about this app a long time ago because one of the reasons it took me so long to start youtube was because of the outlay of the camera, of the computer, and I wasn't 100% sure back then if it's exactly what I wanted to do. So I think if I had this app, it would have been just like a no-brainer really. I thought I could try it, I'm not gonna lose anything. So yeah, I would highly recommend it to anyone who's nervous about starting YouTube because of the outlay of the money and the added pressures that come with that. Google is a startup app that um, they haven't been around long at all, but I think they're doing amazing at the moment to have something that you can film off your phone, you can edit and you can upload all in one app. I think them three main points is exactly what you need. They know there are added features that they need to put on the app and they are willing to do that. You can download it on the Apple App Store. So what I'll do is I'll put a link in my description box below for any of you guys to download the app. Yeah, please do download the app. So I'll put that in my description box below. What I'm gonna do now is just film a 10 second, 15 second clip, and I'm gonna show you exactly how you can use the app from um, filming to editing it and then how easy it is to actually upload it. I won't be actually uploading it to YouTube because you guys won't want to see that 15 second clip, but I will show you exactly how you guys can use the app. I'd like to say as well, obviously this video that has gone out today that you guys are watching now is filmed exactly from the Wibble app. So lucky that our camera phones have brilliant cameras. So if you have got a good camera phone and you can download this app, then I think it is like a no brainer. Okay, so first of all, you just start off by just clicking that button there. You just click it the once and then that is um, on basically like a lapse. So yeah, this is basically how you would vlog. It is super, super easy. You just got to tap that button once and then talk away. And that is how you stop. So if you want to do like multiple clips or multiple days, multiple locations, you then would tap it again and start talking again. And that's how you get your different like scenes. 
please excuse the camera this is just I'm using my camera to um, record this so you guys can see it on this video you can also put the flash on I'll quickly show you that now and that gives you like a better lighting if your lighting isn't too great which um, when we was in the car I used the flash which really helped out because it was a bit darker outside and you also can do obviously turn it around so you've got your both cameras and you can also change the sizing as well if you want it like this square for like Instagram videos but the 16.9 this is what I would use just to um, that's like the YouTube frame setting okay I've just turned the volume down on my phone just so I can show you how to cut so the feature on here is the scissors so that is how you split the clip so say for instance I wanted to cut it here you just swipe up and that would then split your clip so it's very very simply a simple way of editing your videos so I'll quickly turn the sound up by just clicking that button there you just click it the once and then that is um, on basically like a lapse so yeah this is basically how you would floor fog it got tap that button once so as you can see you can split the clip you can do it very precisely you just bring that up and it's as easy as that you can also delete clips if you need to as well which is really good so you just drag this bit down to the bottom and then delete so this is the video that you've seen today so this is the and there's loads of separate clips so we've done this bit obviously in the car then i've done the little montage bits all separate then we've done like the talking bits so they're all separate clips that i've edited for you guys to then see okay so i'm now going to show you the items that i picked up from ikea there are some like bigger items so basically we've got i think they're called the kallax unit so it's the cube with the four squares i'll insert a picture here now and um, basically we got this to go in one of our cupboards in our hallway just for some like extra toy storage and we ended up choosing these boxes to go in there these boxes are so good like you can fit so much in them we've got them in our downstairs wardrobe nelly's got them for toys in her bedroom so we thought it would just be like an added toy storage so we've got four of those and then obviously the storage box next thing we picked up was two of these frames so these are for the bathroom and we're thinking of putting some prints in them in the downstairs toilet not bathroom sorry and um, we did need we do need to get more frames but they didn't have them in stock at the moment so i need to see online if they've got more or get them from elsewhere next item i picked up was this basket i absolutely love these baskets from ikea i first saw them on I think it was Lydia Millen's homepage and I was wondering where she got them from. In the end I watched one of her vlogs and she said she gets them from Ikea and I think they look so like expensive but I think they're like £6. So I will try and link everything in the description box below of this video that I've picked up if it is in stock because sometimes the things online that are in store aren't online etc. I then picked up these flowers. I absolutely love these. So I picked up four of them to go in on our console table for the hallway. And I think four will be like the perfect amount in this vase. So this is just like a lovely glass vase. I thought it was just like really simple and I thought it's something that you can always switch up if you ever want to change the theme. Like a glass vase, you can't really go wrong. 
so yeah these that vase was eight pounds and these flowers they were six pounds each but i know that sounds a bit expensive because i like the range and places like that they're cheaper but i think these quality of these they look so realistic so yeah really really happy with those i then just picked up some like pillar candles these are mainly got for just styling on the console table i think in something like this or maybe just the two on our underneath part of the console table and um, i absolutely love these these are so cheap and i also have them in the living room i have them in like these vases these are from ikea as well and you just slot them in there and they last so long them candles so they i think these ones were like one pound something and the big one was two pounds something i've got those then just some little extra bits just some dish brushes we go through these all the time so i like to pick up a few of them we bought a pillow protector for nelly's pillow so we need to order her a new quill and pillow so i just picked that up from there we then bought these plastic toy storage boxes because basically what we're doing is in our cupboard you're going to see it all in like the hallway transformations but in our cupboard we're going to basically turn it into like a bit like a toy storage so we bought four of those we may need to go back and get some more depending on how they'll fit and then we've got lids for them as well so they can be stacked which is good i also picked up four of these glass mugs i have already used them they're all being just washed up as i'm just showing you the one these were a pound each and i'm honestly obsessed with them they're so lovely and i just feel like they're really nice to drink out of don't ask me why and also i picked up two of these glass um two of these glasses so they're like a i actually think these are like a hand wine glass i think they say but i just thought they would be nice like orange juice and things like that then bought this for my bubble bath for the bathroom because i hate all like bottles and that on the side and we have the i've got like dispenser bottles for shampoo conditioner and body wash but i haven't got anything for my bubble bath and i thought that would be lovely either to keep on the side or to then picked up these two bowls these were a pound each and they're like huge bowls and we thought for like curry or pasta anything that you'd need like a big bowl for ross said he'd use it for his cereal so we got two of those to be honest i wish we got more of them we'll probably get more next time we go and then i just picked up these side plates i only picked these up really because they were 50p each i couldn't leave them there and they're sort of similar to our dinner plates but they these just have a curve up but i just thought these would be good for like a sandwich plate for lunch because all of our plates are absolutely huge like we have these massive dinner plates that they're actually like pizza plates and then we have square plates but yeah we needed some little plates is that gonna fall and then another basket i got this to style under the console table as well um don't know what will be going in there but i just thought it would look nice this basket i think was 13 pounds and yeah absolutely love that these would look lovely like at the end of the bed or you can style them like anywhere these would look so nice in like a pantry a pantry don't actually know how to pronounce that but look with like crisps in or anything like that they just look really nice or even like a laundry room you've got all your socks in and i'll show you that we then picked up these were the absolute bargain from ikea that we picked up so this little is a small rug it looks sort of like a bath mat but it's a rug and we picked this up to go in the downstairs toilet. In the winter in there, it gets so cold. There's no radiator in there. So I just thought something like this might warm it up a little bit. And that they was only £1.50 each. 
So I picked up two of those and every time we sort of go Ikea I always will just pick up a few of them just because um, I don't know how long it's going to last in the bathroom like if they're going to get dirty or and you can't I don't think you can wash them I'll probably try and like hand wash them and then last but not least I picked up this mirror so it's like a big square mirror and we bought this to go in the downstairs toilet as well on the wall as you walk in but obviously you're going to see all of this in the hallway transformations so keep your eyes peeled subscribe if you haven't already and turn your notifications on and then you'll be like notified when all these new videos will be coming so yeah that is everything we picked up from ikea so thank you so much for watching today's video like i said please download the wibble app the link will be in my description box below and i'll really appreciate if you do download that so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye i know you've heard it all before but you are the love of my life Through the door that you are the love of my life